Hello friends and family from around the world. This is Mike with Morning Dew, daily events worldwide, and we are on March 17th, 2021. Welcome to another surviving day on the planet and welcome to St. Patty's Day. Happy St. Patty's Day, everybody. Much love and safe, happy drinking to you all. Yes. I want to start out here. I wanted to share one of the largest low pressure systems I've seen over North America in my past few years documenting and broadcasting on YouTube. Now this system is still currently spinning, heading uh, northeastward towards the east coast. Been documenting it and putting out the warnings. Looking at very, very strong winds, dominant low pressure system that headed through the central plains. And then watch as this Pacific low comes in over the last couple days here and then fired right up over Texas sending tornado warnings throughout the night and as well something else that I observed but I definitely wanted to document this large low pressure system that is affecting the United States and as well this wicked low pressure system that just spun in now, since then, that system has started to move eastwards. But look at this, okay? This is GO-16 ash and dust detection satellite. Satellite imagery showing the cloud tops here. But then watch through Texas coming out of Mexico. As, yeah, you see the low pressure system coming in here through California. Then Utah. And look at this. Big plume of ash and dust. Now that came most likely from Guatemala, Mexico, where Popo, Fuego, Masaya, Pacaya, Santa Maria, many volcanoes are going off Central America. But look at this satellite imagery of the ash and dust that was picked up and then thrown across Texas. Now that happened overnight last night. This was behind the storm. So tornado warnings went out ahead of it. You can see those large white cloud tops. All of the rest of the imagery is ash and dust. Wow. Some pretty epic times to be alive. So looking here at the SO2 detection. This is through Null School. And look at all of the SO2 being picked up across the United States right now. As it was funneled in overnight. Now all of the darker spots is, of course higher concentration of sulfur dioxide. Now all of this sulfur dioxide coming out of the foothills, I'm not sure where that is coming from. I mean, there's uh, right here, this is your geothermal in Manitoba. And then of course, Fort McMurray but where's all this coming from? Truly living in some interesting times as we have f over 52 volcanoes erupting around the planet. And as well through Kamchatka, many eruptions recently. Just looking around the world at the SO2 concentration and it is definitely getting stronger than the carbon, the carbon dioxide. But across the New Madrid, it's coming up. So I wanted to check out Windy as well, windy.com here for the next four days. And you can see all of that uh, northeasterly winds coming from that low pressure system from the Pacific, fueling up all of the ash and dust coming out of the volcanoes 
through Mexico and Guatemala, and as well Hawaii. You can see lots of SO2 coming from Hawaii as well, Nishinashima in the West Pacific. Some big changes coming to our planet. Much love to you all. Please share this video. I wanted to document this because, as I said, this is one of the largest low-pressure systems I've seen. And as well, we're seeing some pretty high levels of sulfur dioxide content. So please share. Show you care. Much love. Prayers for humanity. Stay aware and prepared. Stay young and have fun. And get your morning due. I know that was a lot. But hey, I love you all. And I like to share my heart and share my research. Much love. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye. If you enjoyed today's video, please hit that like button, subscribe, share with your friends and family from across the world.